The year was 1989. George H. Bush was in and Ronald Reagan was out. Bobby Brown had a number one single. Eddie Murphy's Coming to America was a box office success. Two black programs, The Cosby Show and A Different World, were top five television programs. And in November of 1989, Kevin and Carl Poston, two brothers from Saginaw, Michigan, launched what would soon become the most successful 100% black owned sports agency in history. The power. The power. By 1992, PSP was making the more established agencies take notice. Florida State's Terrell Buckley became PSP's first top five selection, and Fred Edelstein of Pro Football Insider Newsletter called Buckley's deal the best rookie contract overall that year. Uh, to get a group of guys like this to be uh, what you say as a unit, uh, as part of, a, of an organization like that, you have to have great character about yourself. And Kevin and Carl, I mean, they possesses that and they shows that. In 1993, PSP did it again. Cornerback Deion Figures from Colorado was selected 23rd overall in the first round by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pro Football Weekly called the deal PSP negotiated for Figures one of the best overall contracts of any first round selection, even though Figures were selected late in that round. That was the first year the NFL implemented a salary cap for its players. The Golden State Warriors select Anthony Hardaway from Memphis State University. That same year, 1993, was the first year that PSP jumped on the radar of the NBA. The deals for Penny Hardaway that year were record-breaking. Even though Penny was the third player selected in the 93 draft, his deal was called by many NBA observers, including Jet Magazine, the most creative ever in NBA history. It was even bigger than his new teammate, Shaquille O'Neal's. You're here with Bobito the Barber, Dream Hampton, and Penny Hardaway. What's up? Hey. Did it say Anthony for real? Oh, yeah. I know right now you're the best player in the NBA. You got to admit it. Admit it. That's not all. The Nike deal that PSP's Kevin Post and Forge for Hardaway was the largest rookie deal ever at that time, even bigger than first overall selection Chris Webber of Michigan's Fab Five. It took LeBron James to break this record 10 years later in 2003. Let's go, people. Got a game to go to. Come on. Next, please. Little Penny? Cut. The Nike deal also spawned an unforgettable character, Little Penny. So you're here for business or pleasure? Is it a pleasure? Well, it's business. It's all business. By the mid-90s, PSP was off and running. Texas A&M's Greg Hill, a first-rounder in 1994. I really owe them a lot because I... Uh, I really feel that Kevin and, and Carl have been more than just my agents. They've been more than just supporters. They've been to me, I guess, what a father would be. The eighth pick in the 1995 NBA draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Sean Respert from Michigan State University. Shooting guard Sean Respert was taken eighth overall in the 1995 NBA draft. Fab Fiver Jimmy King became a PSP man in 1995. I think they're great people, you know. Uh, when I met them at first, you know, you know, we kind of clicked and uh, it, the ball just started rolling from there. Ty Law. Michigan cornerback Ty Law, taken 23rd overall in the 1995 draft, also struck gold. Law's deal with the Patriots was worth more money than the number 15 selection, Ellis Johnson of the Indianapolis Colts. Ty Law's future deals were quite lucrative as well. Falcons running back Jamal Anderson had barely signed his contract with a $7.5 million signing bonus when teammates jabbed him about the subsequent deal given to Ty Law, who got a $13 to $14 million signing bonus from the Patriots. Ty Law will what, net more than I grossed or something like that? Something like that. I was like, hmm. It's more like a family, and then, you know, it's something that I really appreciate because, uh, I mean, a lot of us guys didn't have this type of unity back in our own homes, but we can come here you know, we can also you know, do business, you know, have a family, and it's, it just makes you a lot more comfortable in, in everything that we are doing. In 1996, Michigan running back Tim Biakabatuka became the Panthers' first round selection, and PSP negotiated a $12.6 million deal for the former Wolverine. You know, it's, it's bigger than uh, just uh, two attorneys working with players. I think uh, 
what Carl and Kevin have accomplished is bring the agent and player uh, relationship more as a bound, bound as two friends, you know, communicate, helping each other, you know, excel in the business. Later that year, Robert Ory, better known in NBA circles as Big Shot Bob, joined the ranks of PSP. He would later receive an unprecedented deal for his great career with the Los Angeles Lakers as Carl Post negotiated with legendary player and general manager Jerry West. Kevin and Carl's success got the attention of the corporate media. They were the subjects of this 1997 feature on HBO's Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. Buckley, the fifth pick in the draft, eventually chose attorneys Kevin and Carl Poston to represent him. But the Postons first had to overcome the built-in resistance many black athletes have. Black athletes don't have black agents. There's not even such thing as a black agent. We run into that a lot. The Poston brothers also represent NBA superstar Anthony Hardaway, and this year bagged the number one pick in the NFL draft, Orlando Pace but they still have trouble selling themselves to black athletes. A lot of them feel that uh, white representation is the way to go because they've been taught that. Their parents said that. PSP made history again in 1997, becoming the first black fully owned and operated sports agency in NFL history to represent the number one overall pick. And the deal paid off for Orlando Pace. PSP's deal with the Rams made Pace the highest paid rookie in NFL history. In the corner for Moss, the jump ball, Woodson came down with a beautiful coverage by Charles Woodson. 1998 was another big year for PSP. Heisman Trophy winner Charles Woodson chose the Postons to represent him. Um, I know they do a good job and I mean, I don't even see why I even uh, interview with anybody else because I feel that these guys are the best people for the job. And Curtis gets drilled at the 36. Holy <laughs> Charles Woodson. With a serious hit. PSP negotiated the most lucrative deal in Raiders history at the time. The Raiders being known for not giving large signing bonuses, Woodson received the largest one for any rookie ever at the time. Woodson has made appearances on HBO's Arliss. Charles Woodson, how's the Heisman two-way terror? Arliss. Appreciate your interest in wanting to represent me, but I've decided to go another way. And the Jamie Foxx show. Seems to be the problem. Ain't nothing here. Ain't no problem here, Chucky. I understand how you Heisman Trophy winners try to resolve your issues. I get that. OJ? No! In 2006, Woodson signed another big deal, $52 million over seven years. And he makes the turn. And here is a great return by Charles Woodson. In 1998, PSP signed high school phenom Richard Lewis. Richard Lewis has been terrific this year. The Washington Redskins select LeVar Arrington. Linebacker. PSP had two first rounders in the 2000 NFL Draft, LeVar Arrington and Julian Peterson. The second choice overall, Arrington's deal, earned him more money than Courtney Brown, who was chosen ahead of him at number one. Hey, fix that helmet, Rick! Linebacker Julian Peterson was the 16th selection in 2000. His contract allowed him to become a free agent two years earlier than scheduled based on player performance. Peterson later received a $54 million deal with the Seattle Seahawks, $23 million of which was guaranteed in the first three years. Yeah, Julian Peterson, I mean, he has such a great knack for blitzing and finding the hole within that offensive line, and, and Rex saw it coming the entire way, but yet he failed to get the ball out. He said Gamble is going to be one of those corners that you say, in the future, if he can keep playing, he's going to be a perennial pro bowler. This guy PSP's ability to get players deals that exceed their draft position is legendary. For the Verizon Wireless Halftime Report, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jet Smith, and we have a special guest in the studio tonight. May we have the intro video, please? We have a cold NBA superstar Michael Red's $91 million max deal with the Milwaukee Bucks made NBA history. Kevin Poston helped Red become the first second round draft pick ever to receive a max contract. Kareem McKenzie signed with the New York Giants as a free agent in 2005, and although he plays right tackle, PSP negotiated a deal that reflects left tackle money. McKenzie became the highest paid right tackle at the time. I'm Charles Rogers. I Sing it! I'm Charles Rogers. I had 68 catches and 13 touchdowns. In 2003, PSP negotiated a deal for second overall pick Charles Rogers that was larger than the number one overall selection, Carson Palmer. It was the first and only time in NFL history that a position player earned a larger deal than a quarterback 
who was taken number one in the same draft. Five days before the season opener that year, the New England Patriots released All-Pro safety lawyer Malloy after he refused to redo his contract. Carl Poston was able to get Malloy a better deal with the Buffalo Bills than the contract he was scheduled to play under in New England. PSP also represented second round pick EJ Henderson. In 2006, EJ Henderson agreed to a five year contract extension with the Minnesota Vikings. The deal is worth over $25 million, with $10 million guaranteed. Winslow looking house, touchdown, Browns. In 2004, the Postons did it again. Kellen Winslow Jr.'s deal with the Cleveland Browns made him the highest paid tight end in NFL history as a rookie. I think what they've been doing is essentially what you're supposed to do for your clients, and that, get, that is to get the best deal. The mantra is fair market value, and, you know, they push it to the limit. James Butler and Kareem McKenzie were key contributors in the Giants' Super Bowl victory over the Patriots earlier this year. Two seconds left as the Giants take over. Kevin and Carl were recognized with a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Fisk Alumni Club last December in Atlanta. Kevin and Carl continue to live up to the legacy their father set for them as attorneys who make a difference in their profession and in their community.